Welcome to the 2024 venue selection announcement. Before we do that, I have three reminders. Number one, make sure that when you register and you pay your deposit, it's $200. Do not send $150. Number two, please visit the website, sign in, and at the top left-hand corner of any page, there's my post stats link. Click on that. In the middle of your profile, you're going to see your phone number and your email. Test those to make sure that our server is sending you communications. If it is not, there's information inside the notebook to help you. Three, and last but not least, June 5 through 8 is the tournament date. It is not the third weekend of June. It has been moved up to June 5 through 8. So I'd like to take a second and mention to everybody out there that is unaware that we lost another great one this fall. Uh, Matt Gorby passed away uh, this fall. And um, I would like to personally have a toast to him. He was a great man. We're thinking of you, Justin. And with that said, I'd like to announce that the 2024 Carl Spackler Open will be held at the Medalist Golf Club in Marshall, Michigan. The 23rd edition of our great national event moves to Michigan. The Medalist was selected after evaluating several golf courses and deciding it provides the best all-around golf course, lodging, commute, and price. The golf course property resides with 275 mostly flat acres of land with thousands of trees and marshland. The Medalist Golf Club itself has dog legs, thick forest, 60 sand traps, mounding, marsh, and 10 hidden ponds. There are a bunch of tight areas giving the golf course character. The mounding greens have various shapes ranging from 72 to 150 feet in depth and many skinny greens measuring 50 to 65 feet. The medalist is very unique in its use of white stakes. About one third of its 18 holes are lined with white stakes eliminating the search for balls and speeding up play. The right sides seem riddled with out of bounds. The best thing at the medalist is its finishing hole which finishes in front of an elevated clubhouse patio similar to Mountain Valley. The patio has plenty of chairs and tables, a bar, a grill, and a view of the practice green, carting area, and 18th green. The patio seats 88 golfers and will host the awards dinner and presentation. We visited the medalist twice over a period of two months. The conditions of the golf course were great throughout the entire property. The tees were plush. The turf throughout the fairways was consistent and absent of flaws. The greens provided an excellent surface for the ball to roll true. The speeds seemed somewhere between a 9 and 10 on the stem meter. There are approximately 58 sand traps at the medalist. Some have depth adding blind recovery shots. All of them were conditioned with plenty of soft rake sand. There was no evidence and has been no evidence after two visits that rain pools in any of the bunkers. The medalist marks its golf course superbly. There is red and yellow stakes surrounding the ponds and marsh. It is impossible to hit a house, but the white stakes are all over the place, lighting the forest and even some of the fescue areas. The white stakes begin right off the first tee box. There are yardage markers in the fairways. We saw 250 yards, 150 yard sticks, and on sprinkler heads. The practice range was large and had plenty of space for our event. The large practice green is located perfectly between the parking lot and our karting area. The green itself rolled great and consistent with the golf course. Management has been great and eager to host our tournament. They have provided an open tee sheet. We're going to use daily dual tees to provide a more slow, enjoyable social atmosphere along with taking away the traffic from clubhouse restaurant, the practice green, the practice range, and the breakfast area at the hotel. The Marshall, Michigan area has lots of hotels, but the availability of those hotels is myth. 
Um, the Holiday Inn Express and the Hampton Inn do not uh, allow for blocks of rooms for large groups. There's a large fire keepers casino. Um, they have availability, but the walk from the parking lot to your room is not ideal, and I don't really think anybody's gonna like it. Costs are a little bit higher, and there's no breakfast. The casino owns a quality inn and a suites adjacent to the property with very good customer reviews. Clean, breakfast, and 40 rooms with two beds. The 2024 Carl Spackler Open will lodge its players at the Quality Inn and Suites next to the casino. Players can walk to the Firekeepers Casino for table games, slots, five restaurants, and a large sports book. The NBA playoffs should be in full swing during our event. There is a Gator Lounge physically attached to the Quality Inn and Suites. There is a decent sized bar with pool tables through a door adjacent to a very small lobby at the hotel. The bar serves some food, but food comes from a large restaurant physically attached to the bar and the hotel. Golfers can walk from the room to the bar or the restaurant without going outside. The Quality Inn and Suites is located within walking distance of both a convenience store and a small beer distributor. It is also adjacent to the Gatsby Cannabis Company. The location of the golf course is north of Marshall, just off of I-69. The location of the hotel is west of Marshall, just off of I-94. The distance from the hotel to the golf course is 11 minutes. Golfers can walk to the casino, Gator Lounge, and six restaurants. The Dark Horse Brewery is located in downtown Marshall. There is a decent indoor section, but also a massive outdoor section, including a rooftop section. The outdoor covered area is suited for our welcome player meeting. The brewery has a stage for live music on weekends and hosts a cornhole tournament on Tuesday evenings. There are airports in Lansing, Kalamazoo, Detroit, and Grand Rapids. The average temperature in Marshall on June 5 boasts a 55 degree low and a 76 degree high. Rain is expected during one of the four days based on weather averages. Now it's time to talk about fees. Here is a historical chart of our fees. The 2024 Carl Spackler Open reached $612 in Illinois before dropping to $561 in North Carolina. The budget for our 96-hour, four-day experience is $583, which includes four nights lodging, four rounds of golf with cart, awards dinner, gifts, and various event fees. We have ultimately decided for a fourth straight event to include a fifth night's lodging. This ultimately sets our 2024 Carl Spackler Open event fee at $640. This is another reminder that deposits will be $200. We are asking everyone to make just two payments. This will lessen the burden on Rick Dosky with the accounting books. We're asking everyone to make one payment at registration and then wait until March and your participant options have been selected to make your final payment. The Carl Spackler Open is once again capping its roster at 80 to 92 golfers. Just like in North Carolina, there are 40 hotel rooms with two beds. The remaining 12 roster spots will rise in groups of four based on single paid room reservations starting in February. The roster will be built using the unchanged three-phase approach provided in the notebook. The roster worksheet will be updated monthly. The 2024 Carl Spackler Open has a date of June 5 through 8 with Tuesday night lodging and travel days on Tuesday and Sunday. The event will be held at the Medalist in Marshall, Michigan. Registration is scheduled to open in December. Check the website itinerary for further details. This concludes today's press conference. The website is fully updated to answer hundreds of questions. We will send group emails and texts as needed. We have scheduled probably a last press conference in May. You won't be hearing from me for a while. Until then, 